Welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. You know when your electrical outlet won't sit flush to the plate and it's just a little bit crooked? Well, I think I finally figured this one out and it's actually a really easy fix once you understand why it's happening. So we can see right here that it's sticking out on this side and it's sitting under on this side. So why would it be doing that? Well, I think I finally figured this one out. I think that's at least the second time I've said that in this video. But let's get these off here. So I had no idea why it would be um, out of square so much. It just didn't make sense to me. You know, like the box, if the box isn't super out of square, why would the actual receptacle be so out of square? And once it clicked, it made a lot of sense. And it has to do with the tension on the wires. So I'll show you guys as soon as I get this out. Okay, so right now as I pull this out, I can feel that there's tension on all these wires back here. So if I bend it right there, you can see there's a lot of tension on these wires. And when I push it back in, it's gonna wanna stay like that. So same thing, I can also bend it this way and now there's a bunch of tension on it this way. So when I screw it back in, it's gonna wanna stay stuck like that. So this is the way it was installed, out of flush that way. So let's overcompensate a little bit. Let's get these bent back the other way. One thing to keep in mind, you guys, what you don't wanna touch is these little bolts on the side here. Um, I mean, ideally you should have your power off, but I don't. But anyways, let's flush that up a little bit right there. I've even got it overcompensated to the other direction. I'm probably gonna have to pull this off and redo it. But even if that's the case, it'll illustrate the point. We put these back on and they don't have to be tight. You want it mostly snug, but not actually snug. If that makes any sense at all. Let's put this back on. If you can't tell, I have successfully created the error in the opposite direction. So I'm not actually upset about that. What's going on here? Where is that? There we go. Yep, so it is now sticking out too much here and not enough here, which very clearly illustrates that it was the tension on the wires. So let's do that one more time. And unfortunately, you do actually have to pull this out because you aren't able to bend the wires unless you have this out of the wall. I'm not sure if it can be done with just having it mostly pulled out. Let's give it a try. Yeah, actually you don't have to pull it all the way out. So I can see right now that it's pretty square. I'm gonna fasten that back up. And you don't wanna do these too tight. I even have it one too tight. There we go. It's super easy to break. Be sure when you finish the job to leave all your screws sticking nice, all the lines up and down, looks better that way. Or if you don't like that and you want them side to side, make them side to side, but just make sure it's the same way all throughout your house. But I'm pretty happy with this now. There we go, that looks a lot better. Now I gotta do something about this. So I'd be willing to bet you nine times out of 10, it's gonna be the tension on the wires that's causing those to be out of square. So thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. Hopefully you guys learned something. Uh, if you know another reason why it might be doing this or a different way to fix it, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. Till the next video.